everyone, this is Christina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to show you some of the things that I've gotten so far um, in preparation for getting my first guide dog. Um, I'm not done getting everything yet. I think I plan on getting a bed or a crate before I go to training and whatever else I find. Maybe poop eggs or whatever else um but yeah right now i have already gathered some things and i have some plans and so i thought i would share them with you i might do an updated version if i have gathered enough items um by the time i know when i'm getting my dog or by the time i um getting ready to get my dog i might do a second one um but yeah since i'm not sure right now when i'm getting my dog i figured out make this video. I have started collecting this since like I'm not sure February or something so a lot of, some of these I've gotten more recently and some of them I've gotten uh, like a while ago. So I'll start with these collapsible bowls. And these are nice bowls. They're not that deep. Um, they won't hold too much but they'll be fine for a day of travel. Um, for water or food or for my dog. And they have the clip. I wanted to make sure they had a little carabiner to clip it to my bag. And I got this set of two off of Amazon for about $5, I think. All right, the next thing I got are these two bowls for food and water. Um, these hold four cups. But they do seem pretty small. Um, they're smaller than bowls I've normally seen for um, bigger dogs, like Labradors or Golden Retrievers. Um, but I do think it'll work. They're just smaller than I've seen. And I got two of these um, for $1.50 each off of Amazon. And the other thing that I have bought um, in preparation is this mat for bowls. I thought it was really cute. I got it for about, I think $5 from a home goods store. And I was putting the bowls out on it because I was wondering. And yeah, it looks nice. Again, like the bowls, I feel like they usually would take up more room, but they will work. And I've just been keeping this folded with the bolts on top. Alright, the other thing I have collected is this Nature's Miracle Stain and Odor Remover. Um, we've had this for a while because we do have a pet dog. Um, I think we have like, we have two or three of these. Um, of different kinds and I just grabbed one from upstairs and put it down here because I figured that it would be good to have and then the last thing in this cabinet that I've started gathering is this bag it's I mean it's obviously not like dog related but it's a cute bag and I think I'll put you know whatever other dog related items in here that I think so I'm sure it'll come to good use somehow. I'm not sure where I got that um, bag. I'm pretty sure if I got it in like, I'm not sure, I've had it for a while now. I might have gotten it in a different state actually. Um, maybe in Florida. And the stain and odor remover I mean, you probably got it from like Target or King Supers or wherever, you know, just a grocery store. All right, I will show other items that I have gotten in other clips. All right, so another thing I got for preparation for a guide dog is this Iris Airtight Food Storage Container. I'm pretty sure it's the 47 quart. And I got it for, I think, like $17 off of Amazon. 
um, so it's seems really nice. And these um, wheels are removable. Well, um, they come separate, and you just stick them on. It's pretty easy. Um, I was actually planning on putting it in the cabinet um, that I have my other dog things in, but without even without the wheels, it is still too tall. So I have been putting it in this um, closet. And it works well right there, and I figured that's a fine place to put food. Also, I got this over-the-door coat rack from the Dollar Tree, so for a dollar. Um, right now, I use it to store, like you see, I have scarves or belts, and I'll put backpacks and other things on it. Uh, but when I do have my guide dog, I plan to put a harness on it and maybe like the grooming um case and things like that um anything that can like be hung up i'll probably hang it on there because it'll be nice to have a place for them to go all right the last thing i thought i would show is that i think right here is where i would like to put a bed or a crate for my dog um it's like right next to my bed and it's on the other side, so it's not really a side that I walk on much at all. And I figured since it was a very low traffic area, and it's not in the way of any door or any you know, like walking path in my room, that would be a good spot. Alright, so that's about it. Like I said, um, I'll probably you know, get more things before I actually get my dog, and I may make another video if I have enough things gathered. Um, but this is what I have so far. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video.